Warren, many, many congratulations. The Thank badge you. is back on. Um, how proud a moment is this for you? Oh, it's a huge honour, really. You know, oh, I've been incredibly fortunate to be involved in uh, the last two tours. 2009 was a great experience, and then 2013, and, and Australia's head coach was a uh, phenomenal experience as well. So um, to go back, um, or to be in charge again, and to go back and back to New Zealand is going to be pretty special. Was it an easy decision? Did you say yes on the spot, or did you say, can I have a couple of days uh, yeah, to think I, about no, it? No, I think it's one of those jobs, you know, I mean, everyone's spoken about how tough it's going to be going to New Zealand, and, but I think you get offered a, a job like this, it's one of the most prestigious jobs in, in the world. I, I wouldn't have taken this job on if, if I didn't think uh, there are players with the ability to go to New Zealand and win. There, there is some real talent there at the moment. Uh, there's some pace, there's players with footwork. There's experience in, in the forward pack, uh, and there's some size as well, uh, and so there's some real skill. And I'm incredibly excited about the potential of, of a Lions team being able to go to New Zealand. I've got to believe that we're good enough, that we can pick a squad that's good enough to go to New Zealand and beat the All Blacks. And if we don't believe that, then we shouldn't even be getting on the plane. And if there's players out there who've got doubts, then make yourself unavailable because you've got to go down there as a squad of players and a group of people who believe 100% that we're good enough for going to New Zealand and, and winning the Test Series. Can I talk to you just about the shirt and about the Lions themselves? There was a fascinating line from Surya McGeekin in the paper this weekend, and he said that you told him that a Lions player looks at a Lions jersey in the same way an All Black looks at the, the All Black jersey, and that you'd, no, you'd not seen that anywhere else in the game. What is it about the Lions that generates that sort of emotion? Yeah, it's a really good question. Uh, you know, it, I suppose having had that experience and, and what I'd said to Sir Ian was, you know, you, you get an opportunity or you get a chance to put that all black jersey on and, and you, you can almost physically feel yourself sort of almost sort of grow in stature by putting that on. And I saw that when the players um, put that Lions jersey on and, and what it meant for to them, the, the pride and, and, and being selected and um, from those four nations, and then to to be able to uh, first of all play in, in games, but you know if you were selected for a test, so um, I, I think that makes it incredibly special and and exciting and and you know what everyone's really looking forward to. In terms of the tour itself, what is so special for you about the element of touring, and particularly taking you know this squad down to New Zealand? The Lions are the only team that sort of do that, you know, a ten-match tour over sort of six weeks, and um, I think that's what that what's that's what makes it special, and so you know, special for the players, also incredibly incredibly special for the supporters. You know, you get uh, players from four nations who who you know, sort of beat the hell out of each other for you know, three or four years, and then come together as one team and supporting each other under that sort of iconic badge and. And red jersey, and then the other thing is the supporters. You know, they go they go away under under one banner as well. And you know, uh, and I think that's special. You know, we've seen the supporters mix and and go away and and singing songs and and you know cheering the Lions on as a you know something that you don't get it anywhere else. And when Test matches are played in northern northern hemisphere, and you know, particularly the Six Nations, then you know often 30, 40 percent of the crowd will be away supporters mm -hmm. and when the Lions go on tour it's probably the same sort of figure you know 30 40 percent maybe even more some some games are going to be Lions supporters now that creates an incredible atmosphere uh, it's going to be great for New Zealand because they're going to again get to experience the support of uh, or experience what the Lions supporters can bring in the terms of the atmosphere and you know away support and that's going to be you know special for I think the crowd but also the teams as well. There is there's something sort of mythical, or certainly there appears to be something mythical about the All Blacks and the land of the long white cloud and the haka. Is that something that you will use and you'll, you'll show to the players and you'll use it to inspire them to raise their level or is that something that you're going to push to one side and it's New Zealand from, from the first minute to the 80th and you, you don't want to buy into any of that? You're right, there is something about what you're talking about, that mythical thing and the legend, that, but you, you push it and you find a crack and... And and they can be susceptible to to faltering like anyone else, and that's that's going to be our challenge, you know. And I think if you go to New Zealand, you've got to go there and, and be prepared to play rugby. You've got to you've got to go and play rugby against the All Blacks, and you can't be 
you can't be negative, you've got to be positive and and so we've got to go and have that mindset of going and, and taking them on and, and playing some, some pretty good rugby. How excited are you? How confident are you about the next ten months? Oh massively excited. A lot of people who know me pretty pretty well uh, often say in terms of my self belief and the positiveness and uh, you, you know, I'm the eternal optimist, and you know, I, I always believe that you put your mind to something, and you, 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 you've got the potential to be able to do it. And to me, uh, success isn't always about winning, but sometimes it's about overachieving and and, and performing better and, and and getting results that people don't expect you to do. And so, but success for 2017 is about going to New Zealand and winning the Test series. And uh, and I honestly believe we can do that.